Hey everyone, welcome back to school, back to school reactions. Hey, check it out, you guys awakened when JP just showed up with this, uh, people who still support Biden. I'm curious what those four people all said. Um, ha <laughs> ha Let's find out together. New to the channel, hit that, uh, subscribe button, hit that bell notification button, select all so you know when I'm dropping my videos, I drop a lot of cool videos. And, uh... Hit me up on my socials down below. Uh, there's a link to my Discord. That's the QR code above me. Is a link to the Discord. You can come in there and chat with me and friends and hang out and have a good time. Put in your requests there. All right, let's get right into it, though. I am, I'm dying to hear what uh, this Biden supporter has to say. Why does it look desolate? Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, couldn't be better. What are you doing? I was just walking to the gas station to get some gas. Oh, did your car run out of gas? No, I just can't afford to drive my car to the gas station to get gas anymore. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Prices are kind of high. Yeah, yeah, I have thanks. no idea what Biden's trying to do. Hey, 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 oh, hold it right there. Biden's a great guy. This Yeah. I have no idea what Biden's trying to do. Hey, 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 oh, hold How it they right divert? there. Biden's a great guy. This isn't his fault. Oh, right. I'm not trying to say he's a bad guy. I'm just saying, objectively, gas prices have gone through the roof since he took office. Uh, that's just a big misunderstanding. It's <laughs> a big misunderstanding? When are they going to fix it? <laughs> gas prices have gone oh, through the roof since he took office. Uh, that's just a big misunderstanding. It's not Biden's fault. Whose fault is it, then? I mean, Ooh. Putin's fault, right? Oh. How's it his fault? Well, when you zero in on it at a high level and the, the lack of diversity in the Russian parliament, Russia doesn't have a parliament. <laughs> oh, and the climate change, like with the <laughs> Titanic fault lines causing night what? terrors. Oh, and the elderly community suppressing the LGBTQ community. And uh, it, we're going to wind up with total dolphin extinction in the wild populations in Colorado. <laughs> The wild dolphin population in Colorado is going to suffer because of Putin. And the blood's on Putin's hands. Right. Gas prices. Okay. Gas prices. Uh, there's a goat now. I mean, if anything... <laughs> I'm sure that goat is symbolizing something. We need more Biden. Like, Biden 2024, right? Oh, oh no. <laughs> You're Please not no. ultra mega, are you? Uh, I just don't think Biden's my guy. I wish him well as a person, but I think his policies right. are clearly making people's lives worse. Right. Now there's more goats for some reason. Ooh, and go that's figure. simply not true. Well, I certainly respect your opinion. Hey, have you lost a bunch of weight recently? Yeah, like 20 pounds. Cool. I mean, you didn't have that much to lose. What kind of diet are you on? Food shortages. <laughs> Shortages. That goat's gonna eat that shirt. I, 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 I don't know. I have a feeling that goat's gonna gonna take that shirt off. And buy it. I don't know if you've been around a goat, they'll do that to you. Oh yeah, about those. Why do you think it is in America we have food shortages all of a sudden? Well, I mean, lots of reasons. Like, I mean. Food doesn't just grow on trees. Yeah, it actually does. Yeah. No, we don't really know where it comes from. Like, really, all we know... We don't know where it comes from. Farms grow it. Cattle farms, cattle ranches grow it. Orchards grow it. Groves grow it. It actually does. No, we don't really know where it comes from. Like, really, all we know is somehow it mysteriously comes from food processing plants. Right. Yeah. Oh, um, are you talking about the ones that are all, like, disappearing? Is somehow it mysteriously comes from food processing plants. Yeah. Um, haven't, like, 96 of those burnt down in this year alone? Dude, think about that for a second. Think about the number of food processing plants that have burned down and you ask yourself, is there a coincidence or is there something going on? If you live in a town and all of a sudden there's a series of fires, like in our town we had this happen, there was a series of fires, restaurant burned, another place burned, another place burned, another place burned. Turned out it was an arsonist that did them all. You have 
96, I guess he said, food processing plants all burned down this year. How many other years has that happened? Where nearly 100 food processing plants burned down in one year. Or 100, say, anything. 100 Walmarts burned down in one year. Or 100 Sam's Clubs. Or 100... Uh, pick your insert your favorite fast food joint a hundred of them all burned down and you don't think there's uh, something going on there right what we know is somehow it mysteriously comes from food processing plants yeah um haven't like 96 of those burnt down in this year alone he's trying to stab me Dude, 96 food processing plants burnt down this year you're nuts there's no way that happened oh you're right it's 97. Oh, oh. 97. and what's scarier Even is better. the Biden administration just seems to be allowing it to happen. I assure you that President right. Biden is staying up late into the afternoon looking into it. <laughs> they wake him up from his nap. I assure you that President Biden is staying up late into the afternoon looking into it. I mean, He's taking care of us. Don't you listen to his talking points? I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I mean, maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. We're all in good hands. By the way, is that gonna be enough gas to get you anywhere? Nope, but it's all I could afford. Oh man, did you lose your job? No, I wouldn't say I lost it. It's just the federal government made it illegal for me to work for a year or so. Oh yeah, <laughs> there tough. you go. Now it's all good because over the course of that year, the government sent me two $600 stimulus checks. And it'd be awesome to still have that money in cash because now that $1,200 would be worth like a hundred. Yeah, inflation. Putin. <laughs> but instead, I did the responsible thing and invested it. I hope you didn't. I put it in the stock market. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Man, I, I think the current administration. I know. That's basically just a coincidence. Because the way I look at it, which is based on the way I've been taught to look at immunizations, is that I'm thankful for the Biden administration. Because could you imagine how much worse the stock market drop would be if we didn't have Biden? Yeah. Oh my God. That's one way to look at it. But. Bruh. Are they really saying, can you imagine how much worse it would be if we didn't have Biden? If we didn't have Biden, this probably wouldn't be happening in the first place. I'm not saying that it wouldn't, but most likely it wouldn't have. There, there was a series of events that led into all of this, man. And uh, you took office and you made all these decisions on day one and just kept running with them. And here we are. Can't blame this on your predecessors or anybody else right now, man. This is on you. ...for the Biden administration. Because... Could you imagine how much worse the stock market drop would be if we didn't have Biden? Yeah, that's one way to look at it. But um, you should be okay in the long run as long as you don't. I I, I, I tell you, you know, he said, like, uh, put your money in the stock market. I ain't got no money in the stock market. I, uh, no retirement account or nothing because I didn't have that option in my work. So, you know, it is what it is. I tried, uh, I tried some of that cryptocurrency stuff, man. Dude, forget about that. Uh, bought it at a hundred. I don't know, one hundred fifty bucks. It's now worth thirty-seven dollars. Don't sell. I sold all my stock. You, but, um, you should be okay in the long run, as long as you, you don't, don't sell it. Off. I sold all my stock. Uh -oh. He's really biting me. While it's <laughs> dropped mega low? Uh-huh. Why? So I could get a little bit of gas. I got pennies on the dollar for my investments. That's, That's it's awesome. terrible. No, it's great. My white guilt makes me feel like I deserve it. Is that what old white people who live in mansions and fly private jets told you you're supposed to feel? Yeah. <laughs> Think the elite are feeling much white guilt right now? Think they are? You think they are? You think they're feeling much guilt about anything, or you think they're just thinking, "Well, we're smarter than them. That's why. Uh, that's why uh, we're not um, suffering like they are. We're smarter than them." Nah. Nah. If, if we had the kind of money that they had, we wouldn't be flipping out about gas prices right now or any of this. But, hey, you know, that's what makes them elite and the rest of us just average peons that they can, you know, tell us we should feel guilty. 
Yeah, exactly. They're the ones that would know. I mean, with all their wealth and possessions, can you imagine how much guilt they feel? None. None. Poor guys. Right. None. Yeah. Um, None. But I'm worried about you. I was just going to say this. Let's, let's, let's coincide. Rich white guys in their private jets. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to bring it up. Call it a theory. Call it a whatever you want. Bill Gates is buying up more farmland than anybody in this country. Tons of it. Tons of it. Farm after farm after farm after farm. Now we got food processing plant after food processing plant burning down. You don't think somehow somebody's going to come up with, like, look, now I have all the food and I can control all of it and I get to make even more money. Ta-da! At the expense of everybody else. Man. <laughs> Don't worry about me, the economy has never been better. Yes, it has, but practically, man. <laughs> Dude, that is the best answer ever. The economy has never been better. Yes, it has. Okay, next. Next talking point. <laughs> like, you don't have a job. Right. You can't afford to drive a car. You're going hungry. You don't have any savings. You lost out on the stock market, and you've got a family to support. Like, uh -huh. Do you have any cushion to fall back on? Yes, of course I do. Oh, that's great. What is it? Crypto. Oh. oh yeah, but for that's some reason, completely unknown. That, that's what I just said. It tanked. It tanked. It tanked. Great. What is it? Crypto. Oh. Yeah, but for some reason, completely unknown, the crypto market has dropped dramatically also. Uh -huh. My portfolio is worth one ten thousandth of what it used to be. Sorry. No need to apologize. I'm grateful because... Could you imagine how much worse the crypto crash would be if we didn't have Biden? You look really hungry. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, could you imagine how much worse the food shortages would be if we didn't have Biden? Right. I mean, objectively, it's pretty bad. Look it at it you. wouldn't be You're worse. You're wearing a tattered shirt. Oh, that's nothing. I ordered a new one last year. It's scheduled to arrive in the next 18 months. Yeah. Supply chain issues. Yeah. Could you imagine how much worse the supply chain issues would be if we didn't have Biden? Uh -huh. I imagine they'd be very different. <laughs> Exactly. That's why we need They'd to be all band different. together and support him during this critical time when he's losing support for some reason. Because if we don't get him reelected in 2024, things will be different. Yeah. Yeah. That would be. Well, hey, I got to run home and push my car to pick my kids up from school. They're due back from their field trip to a drag show soon. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. No. He had to throw that in there. God help us all. God help us all, man. We are in trouble, folks. Whoo, good golly, Miss Molly. I hope y'all like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> A sobering, sobering uh, video to watch. Just saying. Whoo. I've been saying this for a while on some of these videos. If we don't start fixing shit, we're going to get to the point of no return and we're all screwed. And guess what, folks? I think we're on the ledge. <laughs> oh, God help us all. Hope y'all are having a great day. Be healthy, be happy, be good to each other. And don't forget to vote so we can stop this crap from going any further. Peace, y'all.